Hi, I'm Shawnee G, and this video is to show you how to make your very own Star Wars opener in Adobe Premiere or Pinnacle. First of all, I'll just point out there's no music on this video because the music track has been muted for copyright reasons. And for the most part, I'll be showing you what to do in Premiere. The steps are basically the same in Pinnacle. There's one little step at the end which I will show you separately in Pinnacle. First of all, create a new project. So we're starting from scratch. So you're going to want to get all your media together first. So the first thing we're going to do is search for Star Wars logo transparent background. Search for a large one. Look, that one there, that's not actually quite the one we want because it's fully transparent. This one here, you see the little pattern there which says that's transparent but the text isn't. So we'll just go and save that in our folder. And we want to get a, star, a wallpaper of stars. That one looks alright. We can spend a bit more time finding one that you like better maybe. Okay, so once we've done those. Next thing you want to do is get together our text. Now the text we want should basically look something like this. This is just some dummy text I've done up. You want three paragraphs, about a hundred words, and you want about four to five words per line. So it's best if you can format this up first. Let's jump into Premiere. Okay, let's import some media. And we'll get the sound in as well, which we downloaded from YouTube using an MP3 downloader. Okay, so the first title we need to do is the A Long Time Ago in a Galaxy Far, Far Away. We want to use the Franklin Gothic book font. And the color we want to make that is I'm going to go red 75, green 213, and blue 238. There we go. Actually, should grab background first. And just put that down there there even though we won't see it just yet so you want to find a bit in the audio where it changes over which should be that dip right there I know you can't hear it but um, there's a little change in the audio you'll be able to find it okay let's put our stars I'll go there And we just want to animate that. So we want to drop a keyframe in the beginning and the end. Just select there, telling it I'm going to animate it. One at the end. Use a controller to go back. So first thing, just make it as big as we can, which is 600%. Go to the other keyframe, make it as small as we can, which is zero. So now if we play that through, you can see that comes through quite nicely. It's not quite rendered yet, so it's a little bit jumpy. Okay, so we want to create a new title, a role. And we'll just move that across a little bit better so we So this is where we grab our text from earlier on. Like I say, this is just some dummy text I grabbed off the internet. Once again, using our Franklin Gothic font. There we go, that's fine. I just want to put a bit of spacing in that. Set our options, we're going to start off screen, end off screen. And I'll center it. Okay, the color. 229, 177, and 58. There we go. Okay, so obviously we're going to make it a bit longer. To make it kind of move the way it does, we want to drop a 3D effect on it. 
basically just put the basic 3D. Grab that there. Okay. And just tilt it a bit. Scale it a bit so it looks a bit better. Just want to line that up. And there we go. There's your very own Star Wars opener.